Welcome to Illinois Corn TV, this week with a look at agriculture news. First, we hope your harvest is going well and that your yields are sufficient to impact your margins in a positive way. While more than 50 countries are being represented in the United States during the U.S. Grains Council's marquee event, Export Exchange. Before and after the event, several delegations of foreign officials from Thailand, Taiwan, South Korea, the Middle East, and Africa visited Illinois farms and export facilities to learn more about corn and corn co-products grown and produced within our state. Illinois farm leaders Mark and Kristen Wilson of Toulon, Paul and Donna Jeschke of Mason, and Art and Jason Bunting of Dwight hosted groups of the dignitaries explaining Illinois corn farming, transportation systems, and co-product creation. Although each team participated in different Illinois experiences, all left with a better understanding of export logistics, including river transport terminals, grain inspection labs, and train and barge companies, in addition to a connection with an Illinois farmer. Elsewhere, as harvest season continues, Stu Ellis had a chance to jump in the combine and check in with Bill Lee in Northwest Illinois while he was in full swing in the field. We hit the last, uh, the month of August and the first two weeks of September only had like 1.8 inches, less than two inches, and it it kind of, uh, as I describe it, died ugly. Where, where it uh, had the soil type and it's, and uh, you know, matured more naturally, it, it's quite good corn, and then you get the areas where it ran out of moisture and it, it drops off. I would say that it's maybe not quite as good as last year, and uh, but more on an average, you know, somewhere around 230 bushel, I think. I think that um, some things we're working on, of course, is uh, there's a word of uh, the waterways. Uh, I can't think of all the, the, the acronyms go for, but it's, it's dealing with the locks and dams, and uh, it's being reauthorized. And uh, we've worked with uh, Senator Duckworth has introduced a, uh, a cost share of 75% uh, federal, 25% from the Inland Trust uh, Waterway Trust Fund to um, you know for new constructions of locks and dams. Meanwhile, Illinois Corn is focused on helping farmers use conservation practices to improve soil health, reduce erosion, sequester carbon, and build a sustainable future for generations of future farmers. Marty Marr, a farmer from New Berlin and current president of the Illinois Corn Growers Association, is concerned about tighter restrictions on the use of atrazine in the U.S. and voiced those concerns in a comment to the U.S. EPA last week. The proposed rule would impact more than 70% of U.S. corn acres, significantly reducing application rates while also requiring additional conservation measures and reporting procedures. The rule also prohibits all aerial application as well as application during a rain or storm event or when rain is forecast within 48 hours. EPA estimates the cost to replace atrazine is $42 per acre from alternative herbicide expenses and reduced yields from poor pest control. You can see all of the comments by going to ilcorn.org, click on the News and Events tab, and you'll find more information. And finally, fire prevention is key during harvest, and we've already seen some red flag warnings throughout the state of Illinois. Here's Assistant Fire Chief Pat Spears from Rural West Central Illinois with this message for our farmers to stay safe in the field. Uh, one of the things you can do is check your equipment uh, prior to use, uh, checking for worn bearings and other places that will create heat, including frayed belts. Um, try to keep uh, the plant material from building up within the si in inside of your equipment. Um, check that every so often. Also, uh, keep a fire extinguisher ready, readily available in all your farm equipment. And if something was to happen, call 911 immediately. And please do not smoke in the fields during harvest. That is a major contributor to the field fires that we have. Thank you for tuning in to Illinois Corn TV this week. You can like us on Facebook, subscribe to our YouTube channel, hit the bell, and you'll be ready for next week's episode of Illinois Corn TV. Have a great week in the field, farm families.